All right, good morning, gang. It's shortly after 9 a.m. local time. We've got a severe weather and possible tornado outbreak today. You see the red zone, level four out of five. That's where a few long track and or strong tornadoes are possible. But realistically, everybody from like Dallas down towards Houston, east towards Alabama, has at least some severe weather risk, so we have to pay attention. It's barely mid-morning, but we're already seeing hook echoes and tornado warnings and spinning storms on radar, which is pretty unusual for this time of day. And we're expecting more rounds later on this afternoon into the evening hours possibly lasting into the first part of the overnight as a squall line with embedded tornadoes pushes east. If you haven't already, follow me on all social media platforms and stay tuned. I'll have more videos here in the MyRadar app later on today. So look, we've got storms out there on radar right now. Part of the reason, this swirl feature on satellite. This is our upper level low, pocket of spin, and as it pushes eastwards, that vorticity or the spin lifts the air ahead of it, generating storms. It also swirls north the corridor of instability or thunderstorm fuel with that warm, humid air wafting north out of the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to fuel our severe weather. So right now, our first batch is kind of getting going over East Texas and Louisiana where the air is being lifted. That batch will feature rotating supercells and push east across Louisiana and Mississippi as the afternoon hours progress. We see weather models spit out a litany of rotation tracks, so these storms will likely spin. The reason for that, southeasterly winds at the surface, but southwesterly winds aloft thanks to our big jet stream disturbance kind of screaming overhead. Those changing winds with height mean that any storms that span multiple layers of atmosphere will feel the changing winds and will rotate, i.e. supercells and that tornado risk. Now there could be two different batches of severe weather, so multiple rounds are possible. We already have a tornado watch in effect until 3 p.m. for round number one. These are the super supercells ahead of the cold front. You can see them right here. They really get going through the early afternoon and last until 4 or 5 p.m. And then we have the actual cold front come through with a squall line along it, and it's a QLCS, or a quasi-linear convective system, meaning little kinks of spin and more tornadoes within that big line. That line starts over East Texas around 4 or 5 p.m., but then pushes east all the way into Alabama through about midnight tonight. Please have a way to be notified. I'll be back with more updates. I'm standing by all day long. We are monitoring here at the MyRadar uh, app. And of course, we got you covered every step of the way. Please stay safe.